This is Vallejo Community Access News. As you can see, reporting live here on the side of Highway 37 at the Napa American Canyon Junction in Vallejo. Now, as you can see in the background, we have uh, some aftermaths of the earthquake. The earthquake happened about two days ago, three o'clock in the morning. And we're just down here in Vallejo trying to capture everything and uh, capture the moment of the earthquake. And if you didn't know, the earthquake also had an aftershock about 5.30 in the morning yesterday. So come follow Vallejo News. This is Sly Richmond reporting live at the fire and encampment. And we just happened to be driving by to capture this story right here. Stay tuned all week to Vallejo Community Access News. This is Sly Richmond reporting live in front of Peace on Earth. Now we're down here in downtown Vallejo getting some aftermath of the earthquake effect. Well, you know now I'm sitting here with Janet Solvain at the Peace on Earth shop here on Georgia Street. And Janet, I just want to know, was there any uh, damage to your building down here? Uh, at the store, we were very fortunate that there were only a few things tipped over. There were no, there was no breakage. There were no cracks in the walls or ceiling and uh, just minor cleanup at the store. Well, I think it's a reminder for us all to be prepared. Um, how many of us have thought about putting together an earthquake or an emergency kit and we just never have gotten around to it? And so I'm hoping that the city will come together with us and educate all of us here in Vallejo how to take care of ourselves because we can see by the level of services required up in Napa that if we had that same type of uh, damage in Vallejo the area would be overwhelmed and so the people need to have at least some education and be prepared to some degree and so I think that's really an important lesson for everybody here in Vallejo. And this has been a wrap for day one. Continue to watch Vallejo Community Access News.